people just don't know how to be normal anymore they just want to do too much So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. You guys know on the channel, I have a series called The Power of Silence. I've made several videos on that series. I've made videos talking about things you should keep private. I think I have part five, so one to five at this point. I'm going to have the playlist linked below, okay? This particular video is another side of that series where I will share things that I think you should not keep private. I Actually, things that are okay to share things that you can talk about with people in your life things that you should absolutely get opinions on from anyone or people that you actually trust things that are okay to speak about to colleagues things that are okay to share to neighbors friends family pretty much anyone that cares to listen even the internet I'm going to roll out a couple videos on this particular topic because again this is the feedback that I got from those videos that I made people were also asking so what are the things we can share like shouldn't we be talking to people and again I understand yes you should be talking to people but not about everything anything and just not to anyone as well first thing on my list that you should absolutely talk about absolutely share is abuse I'm going to try my best to talk about this in the most easiest smoothest calmest and quickest way possible because obviously it's a sensitive topic I feel like this is a thing that is even hard for people to share so people that are actually going through it I have not personally not personally been in this situation thankfully so grateful to God that I have haven't, not even in any form because obviously there are different forms of abuse it could be physical it could be emotional it could be mental abuse any form of abuse that you're going through in your life I beg you in the name of God please find the courage find the confidence to talk about it with someone okay and this is a matter of safety either physically or mentally right or even emotionally as well it could be really detrimental to your health it could be a lot of issues that happen mentally and affect your entire body and your entire life so i would definitely not be quiet about any form of abuse that i'm going through and while i understand that one of the main reasons why it could be hard to talk about abuse with people is because of the abuser the fear of the abuse abuser knowing that they are being talked about is also part of the problem that's the reason why i kicked off by saying i hope pray and wish that you have the courage to speak to someone about it this one is a serious one so you definitely have to speak to somebody about it i pray for you whoever you are watching me going through this i pray that you have the courage you get the help that you need and you actually come out of this better stronger and happy but any form of abuse it doesn't necessarily have to be just physical abuse because i feel like a lot of people prioritize physical abuse more than any other form of abuse you don't have to suffer alone i've spoken about this a lot of times when i've even spoken about mental health and all that stuff you don't have to suffer alone you don't have to do it alone however your feeling is valid and you can talk to people about it your friends about it your family about it you need help and you should seek help second thing i have on this list is your testimonies now um when it comes to testimonies i know a lot of people didn't quite understand or agree with me when i spoke about your relationship with god christianity and all of that in one of these videos which obviously is linked below like i said earlier a lot of people had opinions when i said your relationship with god is your relationship with god and i didn't think it was necessarily for you to bring us into that relationship i still stand on that your relationship with god is your relationship with god however your testimonies can be motivation to people even in that I'll still recommend that you be careful because people use your testimonies against you. Like I said, the evil eye is real, evil thoughts, evil mind is real. People use your testimonies, your moments of joy and happiness in your life against you. People don't always have your best interest at heart. I share my testimonies in surface level i do i could share my testimonies to strangers but it's to motivate them there are people who come on these different apps social media apps and talk about the goodness in their life talk about the successes in their life but on a motivational surface level without detail form that motivates people to keep going in life i 100 percent back that up 
if I went through something and I came out successfully at the other side, I don't have an issue with sharing that testimony. I wouldn't give you details of what I went through. I could let you know surface level what the thing is. Take for instance my channel. Most of the topics I speak about on this channel, I tell you I've personally been through that. That's also part of my testimony because I went through this. It's the only reason I have the knowledge that I have, thank God, that I'm sitting here to discuss these things with you guys. That's also my testimony. That's my story. That's my journey. And I'm free telling you. I can tell you for a fact that, yeah, I've, I've been through heartbreaks. I've been through hardship. I've gone through that. I've shared these things with you guys. I'm here is the grace of God. As the love that God has shown me. Also, the hard work I've put into bringing myself up until this point. So, I share that on this channel. Even surface level information, surface level testimonies, people still hate on. People love misery. Misery loves company. You've heard that before. When someone is not doing good and they see someone that is doing good and someone that is doing good is sharing that good with them, they would want to take out from that good. They want to drag you down with them. So they're going to try different tactics. That's the reason why it's on a surface level. That you just need to know what you're sharing, right? That's the reason why it's also okay when people share testimonies in churches. We have testimony time in our churches. People come out and share their testimonies, what God have done for them. It gives the members, the audience hope to keep praying and trusting in God and theirs will also come. That's why your testimonies are essential for you to share but be careful. Next thing that I think is okay for you to share. The reason this is on this list is because I've talked about the opposite in a video where I talked about things you shouldn't share. Your concerns about someone, a friend, a family member to somebody else, a friend or a family member as well. I have spoken about the opposite side where I said, oh, we're not speaking about one friend to another in those videos, right? And for good reasons, like why are we speaking about our friends to other friends and anyone else who cares to listen? That's you being disloyal and disrespectful to your friend. So there's no need for you to do that. However, you can have concerns, doubts, or be unsure about a situation that you have with a friend. You can share that with another friend. Now, this particular one, I don't necessarily think it's for just anyone and everyone you can share with. But I have seen situations where someone has shared this with me so a concern or a situation they had with their friend but i didn't know who the friend was so they just told me the situation just for me to chime in to give my two cents but i didn't know who they were talking about they didn't mention names they just told me they were going through something and i feel like that's a mature way to approach this situation i personally have been through so many situations in the past with my friends and I wanted somebody else to give me a different perspective or a different view and I have sought out for that view from other friends or family members, right? Or someone drawn out from the situation completely. As long as you're not slandering your friend, you're not putting out your business, you and your friend's business in public, as long as they don't even know who you're talking about or in some cases they couldn't know who you're talking about but you're focusing on the issue at hand. When you have a situation or you fall out with your friend and you want to rant and talk to your other friend about it, when you're speaking about it sharing your side of the story all of that if you really respect your friend if you really love your friend if you protect your friendship you would talk about the situation with somebody else but you would focus and center on that topic you're not going to deviate you filter what you say at that very moment you're being respectful you know to your friend while you're actually sharing this with another friend if that makes sense you wouldn't talk badly about your friend to the person that you're speaking to just because you guys are fell out or you have concerns or whatever you speak about them respectfully and hear somebody else's opinion they could tell you that your friend is wrong it could tell you that you're wrong that's the kind of feedback you're looking for or outlet you're looking for in that case i am strongly okay with it there are so many times where i've had situations and fallout with friends and i have discussed it with other friends it's in that line of like oh my god this is happening in my life right now this is happening between me and this person i don't know if i'm handling it the right way do you think i'm handling it the right way and sometimes yeah sometimes no that's completely fine next thing that i think is okay for you to share is your growth strategy the growth strategy you use to get to where you are we have a lot of financial advisors on the internet we have a lot of business advisors I personally talk about certain things that have helped me so far when it comes to money wise investment all that stuff growing as a person in general right you talk about your growth strategy you talk about certain things that have helped you in life like I said your testimonies so you could actually draw this point from that point, but you're not spilling your beans. You are just giving advice tips here and there. They will make do with that information however they please. And again, while you're sharing the growth strategy, there could be the in-betweens of the people that actually listen to bring you down. 
because they see that you've actually grown which like i said and i'll keep saying evil spirits they're out there they are plenty in this world so we have to be careful even though we have good intentions towards people we're trying to teach people educate our friends educate our families there are people that see it as she's bragging who is she to have that why does she have it and i don't have it we have those people that's why majority of the videos on this series is not to share <laughs> i personally give business advice on this channel like things i think that are trending you should do not personally tried most of them but i think that's what's trending contribute to somebody's growth okay so you can share your growth strategy with friends and family and just everyone also the internet without actually sharing too much detail that's definitely one thing that i feel like contributes and helps a lot of people we need to have each other's back in this world because a lot of things are going on right now in life and i just feel like people aren't as open about you know what's working for them and what isn't working so if they could be a lot more open then people would learn people grow alongside other people that are growing your financial advice and opinions we've spoken about finances not sharing your finances with people i think it was the first ever video i made on this series we've talked about this a lot of times like we're not sharing our salary money details money information savings all that but you can share your savings plan they have a lot of those videos on the internet actually like people share their savings plan people share you know their financial goals some people share numbers i wouldn't necessarily share numbers because that would put me under the pressure to actually make that number i will tell you for a fact i have a financial plan or a target saving plan or a target amount or whatever but i'm not going to share that with you some people just sprinkle it here or there but it doesn't necessarily mean a lot to so many people so that's fine if you have friends or family that need financial advice and they see you as someone who's good with money you can give advice what has worked for you can definitely work for your friend that's also part of the growth strategy as well whatever it is that you think is good in the market what you've personally done and tried when it comes to investment finances building wealth all of that you can talk about these with your friends you can talk about this with with people even strangers as well as long as you're a good person because only good people that would actually share this information so if you're able to do that if you know something that we don't know please tell us right financial opinions financial advice isn't the same thing as spilling all your financial details out there to people you can actually have these advice to people talk to people about money and finances without telling them how much is in your bank account or what you can or cannot afford or also like what you bought what you didn't buy your investments you can have these conversations without actually spilling your own business because this is where a lot of people miss the point and that's why this video is here to help you you can totally have conversations with people without telling your business it's as if people don't know how to not overshare these days you going a step higher in that conversation is oversharing so you can talk about surface level information and leave it at that now the last thing on this list is your relationship status now this is in here as like an opening to this particular topic within the series because it was the first thing i mentioned when i opened up the series the first ever video was your relationship status and a lot of people got it twisted but i did mention in that video that your relationship status is different from your relationship details your relationship is private but not a secret i'm gonna say it again what that means is you can say you're in a relationship but people don't know the details of that relationship i'm gonna say one million times because i keep saying it, but a lot of people don't understand this because if you like being private is totally not talking about it or not saying oh i'm in a relationship or i'm not in a relationship you can definitely confirm that you are indeed in a relationship or you're not in a relationship it depends on how you want to be private there are certain people that don't even want to share their status and that's also fine okay what happens beyond that who the person is his name he how he looks like the village it comes from the country he lives in the job he does how we love each other what we do is none of your business or anybody else's business i think what people lack in 2023 is the ability for people to carry healthy conversations people just don't know how to be normal anymore they just want to do too much talking and talking and talking is doing too much i think a lot of people have completely lost touch with what's real and what isn't because why would you sharing your relationship status lead to you talking about the details of a relationship that that's doing too much people need to put it together these days because information that are being spilled out there unnecessary okay now that's pretty much everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i have my socials linked down below instagram and tiktok i hope you go ahead and follow me on those platforms it's a lit time there as well thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job you at home, I don't care where you at.
turn this up right now, cause we're about to go in. Hey, so step 